Now, if you're new to this channel, you may not know that I'm a massive advocate for expanding your skills by embracing tools like Advanced Custom Fields and Crocoblox Jet Engine. Why? Because these tools allow you to explore a much more diverse range of web design opportunities and tackle a more broad range of website designs. Now, with WordPress, you can combine various different tools and plugins to create lots of different types of websites. Sites like listing websites, real estate sites, car sales websites, those kinds of things. Now, the limitation, in my opinion, is that you are left having to fit your ideas into someone else's design. Now, wouldn't it be much better if you had the skills and the knowledge to see what needs to be done to create something much more unique and then be able to actually take that vision and realize it? Wouldn't this give you the ability to work on more interesting and less restrictive projects and ultimately charge a premium for your skills and that knowledge? This is why I feel as a WordPress based web designer, you owe it to yourself to expand your skill set well beyond simply being able to take pre built solutions and shoehorn your work into them. Now, why do I think that this is so important and why? Well, why do I feel like learning these tools and concepts allows you to charge more money? Simple, you charge in for your knowledge, skills, and ability to take a client's problem and realize a solution for them. Now, not by searching for something that comes close, but by understanding the issues and forming a viable, professional, and unique solution. I like to call this your ability ladder, and by climbing higher, your skills become more desirable, your knowledge grows, and your ability to raise prices on work or more unique and bespoke projects, well, it kind of increases. So, if you invest in yourself, you're investing in your own future. So what tools do I recommend you learn? Well, let's start by breaking a sample project down into its component parts. What solutions we have to realize for each of these stages or challenges? So let's start with the design. You could pick an off-the-shelf theme and use that as the basis for your design. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that. Apart from the fact that even if you customize many of the aspects of it, well, you can still kind of tell those popular themes a mile off. How about taking the time to spend trying to make the pre-existing theme look more unique and invest that into your ability ladder by using tools like Elementor Pro's Theme Builder or Beaver Themer to create a one-off design? Now, if you're new to working with tools like Elementor Pro's Theme Builder, I've got a dedicated video tutorial that will take you right the way through from knowing nothing to getting your feet wet with knowing the basics. Now, the link for this is in the description if you want to check that out after you've watched this video. Now, it may take a little longer, but if you've taken the time to mock up the design or at least the key layout components in a tool like Adobe XD or one of the other popular prototyping tools, you already have a strong starting point for your project. Now, no one is saying that you need to limit yourself to using tools like Elementor Pro or Beaver Builder. If you're more comfortable coding your own themes, then get stuck in and flex those PHP and CSS muscles. Now you could even look at tools like PineGrow that allows you to visually build and design, and then you can output it as a custom theme and link all the various components and the areas they design to their WordPress counterparts. Now this could be a great opportunity to improve your CSS and coding skills alongside the added visual design benefits it offers, and then link it through to WordPress and advanced custom fields. Check it out and see if you think this is another string you'd like to add to your web design bow. Now, creating something more bespoke is another one of those skills that helps to separate you from the next web designer, allows you to charge a premium for that extra time, effort, and skill that's involved. And once you've worked through the design aesthetics, you can move on to the real meat of the project, forming the infrastructure to build the actual website. Now, tools like Advanced Custom Fields or Jet Engine provide powerful plugins that offer an almost endless range of features that make building much more advanced websites a viable option for non coders and coders alike. So, using tools like ACF or Jet Engine, you can rapidly build the structure and features required to realize almost any type of web design project. They really are incredibly powerful tools with so many features, well, it would basically be impossible for me to list them here. Now, if you're new to these types of tools, I've got plenty of beginner's guides that you can follow along with to get your feet wet. And if you'd like to up your game in ACF or Jet Engine, well, you can check out some of my deep dive tutorials that go into a lot more detail. Now, this is just scratching the surface of what you could do and charge more for with your skills. But for the majority of WordPress based designers, the market is getting a much more saturated place and the money is generally becoming a lot less. 
So separating yourself from the masses of cheap designers is more than just upping your prices, it's about upping your skills and increasing your overall knowledge. So start by embracing tools like advanced custom fields and jet engine, look into enhancing your design abilities, and you'll be taking your first steps on an all important ability ladder. Now, if you want to learn how to start harnessing the power of tools like ACF, you can check out the playlist on screen right now. It's also in the description. This will help you get to grips with this amazing tool. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. And if you found increasing your skills and knowledge paid off in getting more advanced projects and making more money. Now, if you like this type of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and smash the bell icon to be notified as soon as new content is added. As always, my name is Paul C, this is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.